Hey, what is up YouTube? Demon Sparks here, and today I'll be doing a unboxing and slight review video of probably one of the best prepaid Android phones on the market to this day, or at least that I've found. And uh, this is a Sprint prepaid. I don't know if it comes in uh, different carriers. I have no idea. I just found this at my local Best Buy. They were on sale for $40. So, really couldn't pass up that opportunity. I actually have two. Um, I'll actually go ahead and show my other one. Here's my second one. And, yeah, I absolutely love this phone. But without further ado, I'm going to start the uh, unboxing. Uh, as you can see, it's never been opened or anything. Uh, let me unbox the packaging. Well, undo it. Sorry, I don't have a tripod, so I'm using my uh, LG Intuition, uh, my other phone, actually my third phone, but I'm using that to video, so. <clears throat> Here's the packaging. So I have to keep placing my phone down since I only have one, on, one hand free to work with otherwise. If I can get it open somehow. Very difficult working with one hand, sorry. Oh, here's the uh, package contents. A little start guide. Some, not, nothing really special. Focus, damn it. So here's a start guide and the manuals. Here we have the uh, regular travel chargers. It's not a USB style, so if you need a USB, you're going to be out of luck for this one. Since this, uh, go ahead and uh, let me actually open the package and show you guys. Some. I know someone will be wondering, most phones come with the, uh, a two-piece USB charger. This is a regular, standard travel charger. It's not a USB style. or It's USB style to micro USB, but you cannot use it to plug into your computer for data transfer, etc., etc. And uh, here's your uh, the phone battery. It's a uh, LG BL41A1H, 3.8 volts. Uh, it is a... 2100 milliamp hour uh, or 8 watt hours um, the battery life on this phone I can honestly say is nothing short of spectacular it is such a long lived battery this phone even with the uh, 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor that this phone comes with it lasts quite a long time so let me go ahead and get this sticker off somehow I'm going to have to put the phone back down for a second sorry guys and everything has got to be really difficult for me today while I'm doing this video. Uh, so, I don't know why that has to be like that, but there we go. Go ahead and peeling off the uh, screen sticker. I actually have to say the uh, screens on this phone is actually really good. It's not like HD HD, but it's close enough. Uh, not really too sure offhand what the PPI was, the uh, the pixel density, but it's it's really good, especially uh, compared to like nowadays uh, more higher end phones. So here's the phone itself. I don't really want to show the backing. Uh, got all the IMEI numbers and all that good stuff, so don't really want to give that stuff away. But go ahead, and took the uh, backing off, and I'm gonna. See if I can somehow uh, block off my numbers really quickly. There we go. That's good enough. So here's the back of the phone. If this thing would focus again, thank you, please. There we go. There is your uh, micro or mini um, SIM card. This is for Sprint prepaid. You have your micro SD slot, which uh, a couple of the other phones do not feature the micro SD. Um, it says that this phone has 4 gigabyte internal memory, but in reality you only have around 1 gig to use, so if you plan on getting this phone, also plan on getting and or using a micro SD card, unless you're not going to be having a lot of stuff, but still recommend it for using it for photos, uh, storage, and video storage, stuff like that. It's a very exceptionally thin phone. It's mostly a uh, screen, as you can see, there's no actual buttons, the uh, only... Like home buttons and such are actually uh, touchscreen. There's no actual physical um, 
capacitive or resistive buttons for the back button or home button, anything like that. So that's pretty much about it for that. So let me go ahead and try to put the battery in.